Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question, same tree. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So this is a true case, right? So I think uh, there are two true conditions. So one is the uh, same value at the same place, right? And uh, can you guess one more true case? So the answer is um, both tree has null at the same place. So in this case, we start from root node, right? So, and then both three has one. So let's move left side and uh, say uh, both three has two, right? So that is true case. And then after that, let's move to left side like this, like this. And uh, here and here, null, right? But uh, both trees are null. So in that case, we should return true. And then let's go back and then move right and move right again. Here is null, right? So in the case, we should return true. And then let's go back to root node and go to right side. And uh, we have three, three, right? So that's why uh, this is a true condition. And the same thing from node three. So left side and the right side, both sides are null, right? So in the case, um, we should return true. So that's why in the end, uh, we should return true in this case. Okay, so let's see the false case. Look at the first two trees. So at root node, both three has one, right? And then move left and move left. So next, left three has two and the right three has five, right? So it's obvious this is a false case. And then look at the second example. And uh, at root node, both three has one, right? And then move left and move left. And the left three has two and the right three has nothing. And that means no. In this case, uh, this is also a false case. But uh, we don't have to care about uh, this case. We only focus on uh, true case. Yeah, so that is the basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. OK, so let's write the code. As I told you, we focus on a true case. So if not p and not q, in the case, we should return true. And uh, another true case is that if P has node and Q has node and P value equal Q value. So in that case, um, we should move to next node. So return and we have to check left side and the right side. So self dot. Uh, so we use the same function is same three and P dot left and Q dot left. And uh, so we check the uh, right side. So we let me copy this and then change left to right. And Q also right. And uh, if we don't meet these two conditions, so we should return false. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n, where n is a total number of nodes in the binary tree P and Q. And the space complexity is average order of h, where h is height of deeper tree among uh, two trees, p and q. But uh, in the worst case, um, when the trees are unbalanced tree, in the case, um, space complexity should be order of n. OK, so I'll show you one more solution code. I think uh, it's good exercise. OK, so we will modify the first solution. So what if we put or here? So in the case, we need one more check. So can you guess? So the answer is P equal Q. Why? So in this case, um, we should return true if both nodes are null. But uh, so let's say uh, P is null. So in the case, we don't know uh, Q is null or not, right? So that's why uh, we need to check P equal Q here. And uh, if both nodes are null, in the case, we should return true. If not, we should return false. So uh, if we don't meet this condition, that means uh, both nodes are not null, right? So that's why we don't have to check this condition. And then, so actually, we can uh, combine um, everything. So let me modify this if to return, and then we put and here, and then check left side and right side. 
and uh, we don't need this false here. I think this works. So when we reach this return, so check uh, values. If they are same, check left side and right side. Yeah, looks good. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time and the space are uh, same as solution one. Yeah, that's all I have for you today. So please support me with your actions such as comment and hitting the red button. I'll see you in the next question.